Realty income is arguably one of the most popular REITs of all time. It has managed to pay a growing monthly dividend for over 20 years in a row and it has also managed to generate roughly 15% annual total returns since going public. National Retail Properties, on the other hand, is a close peer of realty income and it has a similar track record of significant market outperformance and it has grown its dividend for an even longer period at 33 years. Some prefer realty income and then some others prefer National Retail Properties which one do I prefer? Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run an investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you four reasons why I think that national retail properties is a better opportunity today than realty income. But before I get into it, let me be clear that I'm also bullish on realty income. I think that it's quite attractive today at the 5% yield level. And I just recently actually posted an interview with an insider of the company. I'll put somewhere a link on the screen so you can go watch it and learn more about realty income. So four reasons why I prefer national retail properties. So the first reason why I prefer national retail properties is their smaller size. Just recently, I attended the City Global Property Conference in Miami and I got to meet both REITs. I attended their roundtables and one statement from national retail properties really marked me. They said that they have no problems finding about half a billion worth of deals each year, but they said that it would be a lot harder if they had to find 5 billion worth of deals. I think that this was a small dig at realty income because they are targeting closer to to 5 billion worth of deals this year and they have to buy so many assets because they are so big. Realty income's market cap is now over 40 billion and so they have to source a huge amount of investment opportunities and close on a lot of them to really move the needle. National Retail Properties, on the other hand, only has a market cap of 8 billion, and so for them it's much easier to grow externally by buying additional properties. Before going into the second reason, could you please like this video? That will help me a lot. Thank you very much. Then the second reason why I prefer National Retail Properties in today's environment is that they focus on higher cap rate properties. Realty income focuses on the Class A segment of the net lease property market. These are typically properties that are occupied by investment grade ready tenants like McDonald's, restaurants, Dollar General grocery stores or Walgreens pharmacies. They are great properties but cap rates are low. There's a lot of demands for these properties. Tenants also hold a lot of bargaining power and so the leases will typically structure a bit more favorably for the landlord. Lease escalations will be a bit smaller. That's the downside of focusing on this class A segment of the market. National retail properties will typically instead focus on properties that are occupied by non-investment grade ready tenants. They do this intentionally to get higher cap rates, better lease escalations, less landlord responsibilities and other advantages in the leases because they're able to structure them more favorably to themselves. I think that getting the higher cap rates and higher lease escalations is especially important today because we live in a world of high inflation and high interest rates. Today the cost of capital of these net lease rates is historically high and they're having a hard time earning a spread between their expected returns and their cost of capital and so having these higher cap rates makes their job easier. Then the third reason why I prefer national retail properties is that it's less dependent on public capital markets. Today the payout ratio of realty income is about 77%. That's uh, fairly conservative, the dividend is not at risk, but doesn't retain much capital and so it has to keep raising more equity in the public market to buy more properties. National Retail Properties, on the other hand, has a payout ratio that's quite a bit lower at closer to 65% and so it's retaining a lot more cash flow to grow organically by reinvesting in more properties. It doesn't have to access the public capital market, which could be complicated today because its valuation is somewhat discounted. And this leads me to the fourth and final reason national retail properties trades today at quite a lower valuation. Realty income is priced at roughly 15 and a half times its FFO and a 5% dividend yield. That's very reasonable in my opinion, but national retail properties is trading at a two turn lower FFO multiple of roughly 13 and a half and its dividend yield is 5 and a half percent despite having quite a bit lower payout ratio. A lot of people would argue that national retail properties deserves to trade at a lower multiple because it owns somewhat riskier properties but here what you need to consider is that it also has faster growth prospects. As we discussed earlier it's smaller in size, it's able to earn higher spreads on its investments because it's starting properties with higher cap rates and so I think that when you take this into account the, the spread between realty income and national retail properties in their valuations should be smaller. Then on top of that what you also need to consider is that because national retail properties is trading at a lower valuation you're less dependent on the growth. Their cash 
flow yield today is roughly 7.5% and so you really don't need much growth to get to double digit total returns. So to recap here, I'm slightly more bullish on national retail properties because I think that it's going to be able to grow faster, you're less dependent on growth, you get it at a lower valuation, it's less dependent on public capital markets, it has a lower payout ratio and so when you combine all these factors together I think that the risk to reward of national retail properties is slightly better than that of realty income today. And so for this reason we own a position in national retail properties today in our retirement portfolio at High Yield Landlord. If you want to access all our other holdings feel free to join our REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description of this video and otherwise again if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel help me a lot. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.